welcome back to my channel so glad to be back filming it's been about a week or so since I filmed a video life has been crazy we've had baseball tournaments we've had work I've been out of town most of last week so I really wanted to sit down and just film kind of a relaxed fun chit chatty video and share with you guys some things that I have recently found or maybe I've recently found a month or so ago and I've just been using them long enough to do a proper review and tell you guys what I think. So let's get started, shall we? Um, oh, first of all, if you're new to my channel, please comment below and let me know um, where you're from. I would love to say hello. And um, to all of you who are coming back to my channel, thank you so much for watching. So, all right, now that that's out of the way, um, where do I want to start? Where do I want to start? Okay, I think I'm gonna start with skincare first. Okay, so like skincare, body care, hair care first, and then I have a couple makeup items. So, as you guys know, I am obsessed with the Sarah Hap Lip Slip. It is what I have on my lips today. It's all I have on my lips. I have the exfoliator, I have the lip slip, and I also ordered the Dream Slip. So the Dream Slip is basically you just use this at night, it has no color to it. The Lip Slip has a little bit of a pink, kind of um, almost not glitter, but almost like a, it's just beautiful. It has like this iridescent, it just makes your lips look beautiful. Um, and I wouldn't even say it's pink, I mean it is pink, but it really just enhances your natural lip color. It is just perfection, absolute perfection. Um, I have two of them. I keep one in my makeup drawer and then I keep one in my purse. The one in my purse is almost gone. So I got on QVC and I ordered another set. So I ordered, um, they had a set of three, it's called it the Perfect Pout Set but it's got the lip slip, the scrub, and the lip mask, which I had never used before. I've used it a few times, I really like it, but again, I'll, I don't like to review anything if I haven't used it for at least, you know, a couple, three weeks, just to tell you guys what I think. But um, this is the Dream Slip, and I have had this for quite a while, and you can see, I've, well, maybe you can see, I've actually made a pretty good dent in it. There you go, you can kind of see there. Um, I keep it by my bedside, by my be nightstand, and as right before I go to bed, every night after I brush my teeth and all that, I just put this on my lips. It is super, super, super thick. That's why you don't want to wear this like during the day or you would be like gloppy. Um, it's very thick, but honest to goodness, guys, it feels like you are putting silk on your lips. It is amazing. And I wake up in the morning and my, it will still be on my lips. So <clears throat> it's very moisturizing. It just keeps moisture in your lips all day or all night while you sleep. And it's just lovely. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't really have a smell. The lip slip has a little bit of a smell, but this doesn't. Um, but again, it's super thick and it's almost like a white it's not white in color, but like when you put it on, it really doesn't give your lips any color whatsoever. So definitely use it at night, but highly, highly, highly recommend. Um, truly, the Sarah Hap lip product, and if this is, I mean, Sarah Hap has absolutely no idea who I am, could care less. Um, these are truly the best lip products that I have ever, ever used. I cannot see ever like not being with this stuff. Um, just really good. And if you're interested in trying Sarah Hap, um, again, QVC, they um, carry her, her whole line and they've got really good deals a lot of times on like their beauty IQ and stuff. You can get it for a really great price. So highly recommend that one. The next thing is a drugstore product. This is the um, Dove Exfoliating Body Polish and this is pomegranate seeds and shea butter. So this I keep in my shower and as you guys know I self tan in the summer and what I like to do is I don't use this every night so it, I think it actually recommends using it yeah three to four times a week so that's what I do I just keep it in my shower it smells so good and as you can see it's got I don't know if you can see or not it's got little um, like exfoliating beads in there I think you can see it um, when you put it on your body, it is the best thing ever for exfoliating before you self tan. 
So I'll just use this um, like the night I'm going to self tan, I'll exfoliate. And then this is not a body wash. So what it recommends is you use this. Then you go in with like a Dove body wash or whatever body wash you, you want. It just, I use Dove body wash or that's what I'm using right now. So, um, but you go in with your body wash after you use this and it makes your skin so soft. Um, I really love it. And actually my husband um, uses this sometimes too, just like on his feet and his arms. It does smell a little perfumey for him, um, but he, he really likes it too. So I keep that in our shower. Um, highly recommend it. And this is new on there. I've had this for a while. It doesn't, it lasts a long time. It doesn't take a very long time at all, or you don't have to use a lot of it at all. It, it lasts a while. So really great. I love that. And I love the Dove body washes too. They do a really good job on their body washes. Okay. The next thing is a shampoo and this is the, um, OGX detoxifying pomegranate and ginger shampoo. So I only wash my hair like every three days. And when I do wash my hair, by the time it's time to wash it, I do have a lot of buildup. So I like to use a clarifying shampoo or detoxifying shampoo. And I've tried all different kinds. One of my favorite ones is the Neutrogena. It's in like the little funky like rectangle bottle. I really, really like that one. And I started to buy that one again. I forget what it's called now, Neutrogena. I forget, but it smells really good. It's been around a long time. I mean, it's an older, it's not like a new thing. Um, I can remember my grandmother using it years ago, but I thought I would try this one. It says, is infused with super fruit, pomegranate, and ginger. It helps degunk stubborn residue from dry shampoo and build up. Detoxifies strands, soft as velvet with a beautiful looking glow. So I've been using this, as you can see. I mean, I've used about half the bottle. So I feel like I've used it enough to be able to give a pretty good review on it. I did buy the conditioner that goes with it, but I do not like the conditioner. So I will use it to like shave my legs or something in the shower. Um, but I do like the shampoo. When I use that shampoo, I use a different conditioner with it, a more moisturizing conditioner because when you um, wash your hair with that, it definitely will kind of strip it, um, which is what you want. You want to get all that buildup off, but I also want to put some moisture back into my hair too. I don't want to leave it um, dry like that. And the conditioner that goes with it um, smells really good, but I just don't think it does a great job of putting that moisture back into my hair. So I use a different conditioner with that, but um, it smells great. It's clear coming out. It's really thick. It does smell really good. It smells like the beach. It um, foams up really well. There's a good lather there. So yeah, I really like that. Um, I don't know if when I run out of this, if I'll go out and repurchase this exact one again, I may try a different clarifying shampoo. I like to switch my shampoos up a little bit. So very good though. And um, it's drugstore. So Walmart, Walgreens, Target, wherever you can get that. All right. So the next um, body thing is my Smile Actives whitening system. So um, I've been using this, me and my husband have been using this for several weeks now. So I did a haul video of it and kind of a review of what it was. Um, and at that time we had only used it maybe a week or two. So now that we've had about a month um, with it, I can honestly say that this is the best teeth whitening system, home teeth whitening system that I've ever tried. And I've tried a lot of systems. I've tried, the trays with the gel from the orthodontist. I've tried every um, version of the white strips you can think of, whitening toothpaste, I mean, I've, I've done it all. So <clears throat> for the money, these were $50 um, per kit, and I got one for me, again, one for my husband. And it's just so easy, it's so convenient. You plug it into your phone, and honestly, like I can tell the difference in my teeth. I mean, a huge difference. It's like noticeable. And my husband's, um, I can tell a difference in his teeth as well. As well. So you can do it every day. It says you can do it multiple times a day. Um, I do it about three times a week, um, which is, I mean, for me, if that's enough, it makes that much of a difference because right after I have my coffee in the morning, I brush my teeth with, and then add the whitening gel that I bought for, with this onto my toothpaste. So that helps to get like the coffee and stuff off. So the toothpaste coupled with this is like killer combination. Um, and I will say that my teeth 
are having or I'm experiencing no sensitivity whatsoever. Now, my husband did mention to me that he thought his teeth were a little sensitive about 30 minutes after he does the whitening treatment. Um, and maybe that's true, but you're not supposed to eat or drink for 30 minutes after you do after you whiten your teeth. So I haven't really experienced that, but now he said he did, but it's he said then after like the 30 minutes it's completely gone and there's no more sensitivity whatsoever. So, um, it comes with two of the whitening pins. We're still on the first pin. Like I've not even cracked open the second pin yet. And, um, it says that you're supposed to get a hundred treatments out of each pin. So that's 200 treatments. So if you whitened your teeth once a day, you, that's 200 days you could get out of this system without having to repurchase anything. So, Definitely recommend this. Um, I love it. My husband loves it. If you're in the market and you want to do something, um, a teeth whitening, but you don't want to spend a ton of money and um, you want something that's like easy and convenient you can do around the house, definitely get this. Highly recommend it. Um, I got it at QVC in case you um, didn't watch that video. And I'll link it to, um, I'll put a little card up there for the review on this as well. Okay. So, the next thing I want to talk about is beauty. Okay, so I bought one thing um, over the past month that I'm loving. I use it every day. It's all I have on my face today. And I will tell you guys that I have complete, I have on no foundation today. Um, I have, have been using a new skincare system, a dermatologist grade skincare system with a Retin-A. So, I'm doing... My hair is looking funky. Um, I don't know um, if you can tell or not, but I have some peeling because when you start using a Retin-A, um, you have peeling. So I have some peeling around here, around here. And honestly, it's just it just makes it worse if you try to put makeup on it. So I do my um, skincare regimen uh, morning and night. And in the morning, the last step is just a sunscreen. You don't use a moisturizer. You don't use anything. So I have on a moisturizer or have on the sunscreen that goes with the system. And then, um, I'll show you what I do after that. So I haven't worn foundation in probably two weeks. Maybe this coming Wednesday will be four weeks. So this past Wednesday was three weeks that I have not worn any like face foundation whatsoever. Um, and I have to say, it's kind of liberating. Like, Retin-A is supposed to be like the holy grail, anti-aging, fix everything for your skin. And I'm using it to combat some um, rosacea that I was diagnosed with at my last dermatologist appointment. And um, Retin-A is also really good if you are prone to skin cancers because it promotes cell turnover. So that's one of the reasons my doctor wanted me to start using the Retin-A on my face. And I, but I'm also using it in conjunction with a dermatologist recommended regimen for my skin. Um, and I don't want to do a review on that until like my one month or six week mark. Um, and once I get to that point, then I'm going to show you guys some before and afters and like go over what I'm using and how I use it and all of that. But that's going to be its own video. That'll be a long one. Okay, so this is what I bought. I bought the Butter Bronzer Palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube. Um, I got it at Walmart. It is limited edition. I got the light medium. So the Butter Bronzer is all I've been using for the past like two summers. Um, I've had this, the, the single compact Butter Bronzer. And I noticed that it was starting to get like deadpan. Um, and I've had it so long and I was, I can't believe I haven't hit pan on it to be honest, but there was still quite a bit of product around the edges. The middle was almost gone, but there was quite a bit of product. But I thought, you know, it's probably time to just get a new one of those because I use it constantly. So when I saw this came out, I was like, ah, that is awesome. And I hadn't tried any of the other butter products. So I hadn't tried the blush or the highlighters. So this palette comes with the butter bronzer and light medium, the blush and natural glow, the highlighter in full moon, and a highlighter in galactic. So, and it's got this like film thing over the top, so you can see. So, this one is the lighter of the two highlighters, and then this one is almost like a purpley, it's galact called Galactic. And both of these highlighters are limited edition. Here's the bronzer and here's the blush. And where this little opening is, you also get 
a little perfume in there and I've taken the perfume out because I want to talk about it all on its own. So the perfume, let me just finish with the palette first. I just stuck my finger in that blush. Yuck. Okay. So basically what I do is I take my, the bronzer and I go over, now I have on no foundation. So I go right here, my cheek, and I go kind of down around the edge of my face and right here, bridge of my nose. And then because of my veins, you can't really see my forehead, but I kind of do it just a little bit just in case I decide to pull my veins to the side or something. Um, that's what I do with the bronzer. Then I take that same bronzer on an eyeshadow brush and I put it on my lids. So I do a little bit of the um, bronzer on my lids as a base and then that's it. Then I take the blush and I do blush. So you can see kind of this highlight right here. This is not from the highlighter. That's from the blush. Like that blush is beautiful. It's like a peachy golden color and I just put it right on my cheeks and then I also take with a crease brush and put the blush like in the crease of my eye. Um, and then on every day, I've not been using these highlighters on my face at all, but I do use them on my eyes. So I'll take this galactic shade, which I'm going to swatch this for you guys just so you, you can see. I mean, hello. So you take that, take this galactic shade. I mean, it's intense. And I put it, just pat it right into my right on my lid. Like I'll do it right now so you can see. But I just kind of pat it right there on my lid and it's just so pretty. And that's all I have on my face. And then I have my lip slip on my lips and mascara. But as far as face products, that's all I have. Um, now I have used the lighter highlighter and um, put it with a fan brush like just on my cheekbones. But honestly, just using the blush is enough highlighter for me for daytime. Now, if I was going out at night or something like that, I, I might do the fan brush and do, but I mean, that is just from the blush and it's so pretty. So I've been using this palette every single day for face and eye. Like I haven't used any other eye products, haven't used anything. Um, so Allie uh, Glines, her channel, I'll link it down below. She did a tutorial like this. So that's kind of where I got the idea of using it on my eyelids. Um, but she did a tutorial using this um, palette and she used it for her face and her eyes and it was beautiful. So I've been doing that every single day. And honestly, I've gotten so many compliments. People are like, you look so bronze. Like you look like you've been out in the sun and you know, that kind of thing. Now the Retin-A and the um, skincare that I'm using does make my face more red right now um, and it will for about three months it'll make my face peel and make it a little more red so that adds to kind of that rosiness but this is amazing I would highly recommend and this um, this uh, perfume that you get in the kit I was like That's, it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna stink it's gonna smell cheap or whatever no it it smells like the beach, but in the best possible way. It does not smell like sunscreen. It smells like the butter products, like the butter bronzer and the butter blush, but in perfume form, but in a very clean, classy, like summery smell. It smells so good. And to be perfectly honest, I would buy this completely separate from that kit. Like if they would just sell this and come out with this, which I'm afraid they're not going to. I'm afraid it's like limited edition and then I'll never be able to get it again. But if they would come out with this perfume, I would buy it separate, like totally on its own. It smells that good. I really, really like it a lot. It's like, I've been wearing it pretty much every single day um, in the warmer weather. It just makes you feel so, and smell so summery. I love it. Okay, I've got two kind of house fashion things. So the first is a pair of shoes. I know. Can we just take a second and talk about how these are the most perfect nude wedge pumps ever? I mean, ever. They are from Ann Taylor Loft. You can tell I've already worn them several times. I have worn them with jeans, dresses, dress pants. I've worn them to work. I've worn them to buy groceries with blue jeans. I mean, they are just like perfect. Um, they are suede material and round toe 
They come down far enough where you don't have toe cleavage, which I absolutely love. Um, the wedge is perfect. It's not too high. They're comfortable. I can wear them all day long. Love them. And I ordered them online at loft.com and they were on sale and I had a coupon. So, you know me, Loft, I mean, their sales are where it's at. I'm telling you. So, get these um, if you are in the market for a pair of really good nude wedge pumps. These are amazing and I can definitely tell you that I've already gotten enough wear out of these that I can justify paying a little bit more than I would pay like Target or Walmart or whatever. Um, just a funny side note, um, I have a pair, so I used to work at Loft when I lived in Atlanta and that's many years ago, um, 13 years ago, 13 years ago. And I bought a pair of black knee boots, so black leather, zip up knee boots. They have a heel, not a huge heel, like a kitten heel. They're pointy toed. That's what everybody was wearing at that time with skirts, dresses, whatever, um, with tights. I bought those 13 years ago. I still wear them. 13 years old. I'm not even kidding. I have had them resold. These, I literally wore the soles out in those boots. Um, I took them to a local shoe repair place. They put new soles on them. They're like brand new. Um, they had a couple scuffs in the leather. They got the scuffs out for me. But other than that, I mean, 13 years I have had these boots. I think I ended up paying with my discount. They were a little over $200 when I bought them. They were a Christmas present. And um, I used my employee discount at the time, which was 50% off everything. So we're talking like $400 boots. However, they have lasted me for 13 years. I, in 13 years, I have never bought another pair of black knee boots. They're just classic. They go with everything. They look beautiful with dresses and skirts in the wintertime. Sweater dresses. They're just the perfect boots. And now they're so broken in that they feel like tennis shoes. I can basically wear them all day long and my feet don't hurt. So if Loft, I love their shoes. They can be a little pricey. So I suggest shopping the sales or wait until they go on sale or until you get a coupon or whatever. Get on their mailing list. And, um... Their shoes are worth it. I love their shoes. Okay, so the very last thing is kind of an odd item, but it is the ah, new cookbook from Joanna Gaines, Magnolia Table. You guys know me and Joanna Gaines, four spirit sisters, I'm telling you. I love everything about her. I love her, um, her faith. I love that she is so focused on her family. I love her design. I love her style. I love everything about her. I have her book and I have Chip's book, which I would recommend those as well. If you have not read um, their Magnolia book, which is their kind of like their love story and how they, you know, got to where they are, um, definitely read it. You will cry. You'll laugh. Chip's book, um, Capital Gains, amazing book. I actually gave it to my husband to read as well. Um, it is, I've actually read it three times. It is so inspirational, just really a beautiful story and a beautiful couple. So when she came out with this book, I was like, oh yes, oh yes, because I love to cook. And let's just talk about this cookbook. I mean, it's beautiful. I actually am going to get one of those like cookbook holders and put it on my counter in my kitchen just to put this on because it's just beautiful. Um, the black here, the font, all of the pictures are just, it's just stunning. Um, so I have made a couple recipes out of here that I wanted to share with you guys. So I made her chicken pot pie and I actually made it for just a weeknight dinner at the beginning of this week. And, um, it was a huge success. So I did the chicken pot pie and, and my in-laws came over, everybody, my husband was like, this is the best chicken pot pie you've ever made. And it did take a little bit more work than my usual chicken pot pie, but not that much. I mean, I had it put together in like 20 minutes, um, prep time. But the thing that I loved about it is a lot of her recipes are, the portions are for her family, which she's got four kids and then two. So me and my husband, we only have one, one kid. So it made a lot of food, So which I love because we love leftovers. So we had leftover pot pie, but the filling for the pot pie, um, you cook it in like a Dutch oven and then just put it in the bottom of your casserole thing. 
I had a ton of that left, the filling. So we heated that back up and just had like a chicken vegetable soup one night with grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, I totally could have used that and made a whole nother chicken pot pie. I really could have gotten two chicken pot pies out of that one recipe of filling. Um, so just a really great recipe. Um, I love that she, you know, a lot of her recipes are like, if you don't want to make homemade biscuits, girl, we'll just go buy you some Grand's Pillsbury biscuits and put that in your chicken and dumplings. Um, I love that about her. I love that about this cookbook. None of the ingredients are crazy. They're all very um, standard, very family friendly, um, you know, very friendly for kids. She has just got some really, really beautiful recipes. I mean, look at this picture of her sweet kids. Look at that. I mean, it's, it is just beautiful. It's, it's so pretty just to sit and look through. Um, I have got several recipes marked that I want to do coming up. Um, I am going to be making, now I make my own biscuits. So I have a biscuit, my own biscuit recipe that I make every weekend. I make biscuits and I make a double batch. And I take what's left, like we'll usually eat one or two, um, and then I will take what's left and put it in a Ziploc bag. And through the week, my son has fresh biscuits every morning, and I made them. I know what's in them, and, you know, that's, that's just how I do it. So this weekend, though, I'm going to try her biscuit recipe. So this is her biscuit, her biscuits and her biscuit recipe, and um, it uses eggs, which is kind of unusual. I've never put eggs in my biscuits. Um, but she has some really great looking breakfast casseroles, quiche recipes, um, desserts, and the book is broken up into, into different sections. So you've got breakfast, lunch, soups and salads, appetizers and starters, side dishes, dinner, and dessert. So it's broken up. And I like how, um, one of the things I really like is how, like in the dinner section, for example, all of the chicken dishes are together. All the beef dishes are together because a lot of times I'll buy like a family size thing of chicken breasts and I will cook go ahead and cook them all and um, use them for two or three different recipes throughout the week so it just makes it really easy to kind of organize the the meals and the recipes and the ingredients excuse me so I really like that um, oh, and I also did her strawberry shortcake using biscuits. So she takes her biscuits and you just, my grandmother used to do this all the time. Just split them open, put a little butter on them, toast them in the oven, and then spoon fresh strawberries on the top and then whipped cream. It's as easy as that. And then top it with the other biscuit. And I made those for dessert the same night that I did the chicken pot pie and it was a huge hit. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's just a really, if you like cookbooks, if you, if you, who doesn't love Joanna Gaines? Um, I, I highly recommend getting it. Again, the recipes, these are not, and I will say this, these are not 30 minute meals. These are not super quick recipes. Some of them are, but these are not super quick recipes. These are recipes that you want to get in the kitchen and cook a meal. You just want to have that experience. You want to be in the kitchen, which is what I love. Um, Cooking and baking for me is like therapy. If I'm having a bad day and I get into the kitchen with a glass of wine, I'm in my happy place um, baking something or cooking something for my family and that's kind of her philosophy as well it's just all about that experience of feeding your family and gathering around the table to enjoy what you've what you've made and it's just um, yeah I really like that I like that that's kind of her message and her philosophy so these aren't super quick meals they're not super healthy meals some of them um, I did modify my chicken pot pie. I used the fat-free condensed soup. I used homemade chicken stock, which she recommends. But instead of using eight cups of chicken stock, I used four cups of chicken stock and four cups of water because our chicken stock is super concentrated. We make it ourselves and it's very, very, very strong. So you can dilute it down. So that saves some calories. Um, you know, just some little things like that. But other than that, I mean, I think the recipes are fantastic and you could totally adapt them and modify them to accommodate, you know, fewer calories or, you know, whatever you want to do. So, um, definitely, um, if there's somebody in your life that likes to cook and likes doing against, this is just like with everything they do. I mean, it's just done right. So really highly recommend that one. 
All right, guys, that is it for me. So these were just a few of my favorite things um, that I've been loving recently. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will link everything down below. So if there's something that you want to um, go out and grab, you certainly can. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye.